So the reason ABP are involved in this research is we want to be able to demonstrate the difference in efficiency that can be made across the entire supply chain from farm to fork. And that's both economic efficiency and environmental efficiency. And the work that we've done on the ABP trial farm shows that we can reduce methane emissions by up to 17% of animals of the same age and that those animals can show a 200 euro difference differential in financial performance. And as one of the major red meat processors in Europe, you know, it's incumbent upon us to take an industry leading position and to drive this activity on, the, on behalf of our supply base and on behalf of our customers. So one of the reasons why we're focused on genetics is it's about simple choices. So a farmer choosing genetics from animal A or genetics from animal B, that's as difficult as it gets. And that's the difference between having an animal that's the top performer versus the bottom performer. So this 17% or this 200 euro difference is as simple as choice A or choice B. Because we are a major player in the red meat sector, that red meat sector travels with a significant greenhouse gas component. Science-based targets are a global measurement criteria um, and they're about determining a business's fair share of carbon reduction in line with minimising global warming within a two degree threshold. When ABP looks at its end-to-end -end total carbon footprint from farm to fork of all of its activities more than 95% of those reside outside of ABP's boundaries. So they are either upstream, in customers or in uh, consumers' homes, or more significantly, they are downstream. And that is on farm with the cattle that we purchase. And therefore, if we are gonna move the dial in moving ABP's carbon footprint, what we have to do is focus on that farmer supply base to help them improve environmental efficiency. And our farm research has demonstrated that economic efficiency travels with environmental efficiency.